politics of the day has been dominated recently, of course, the last few days, by what's going on up in uh, New Jersey. Uh, I would imagine there are even some Republicans who are enjoying watching uh, Chris Christie deal with this scandal. Absolutely, uh, particularly his potential presidential opponents. I mean, I'm sure you saw what Senator Rand Paul said last week. Something about, I I hate it when I'm in traffic. I know I'm always wondering who did this to me. So (laughs) an opportunity opportunity for him to take a jab. It wasn't outright, but... We knew who he was talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, for for sure. Uh, does this and Christie, of course, just taking over as head of the Republican Governors Association? Right. Does this um, is this going to be a problem for him? Absolutely, and uh, you know, a raft of Republicans came out this weekend and said he handled it well. They showed leadership. Rudy Giuliani was out there. Senator John yeah. McCain was out there. Right. Right. But I mean. It, unspoken kind of between the lines there is this has significantly hurt him. There's polling coming out this week from a New Jersey pollster that's probably going to show a big hit. It's just a matter of how long lasting is this. So it speaks even if he uh, uh, win or uh, it's it's a lose-lose it seems to me. For right. Him. I mean obviously if it turns out that he knew anything about this right. uh, he's toast. Right? right. But even if he didn't know it does raise questions about his managerial ability. Right, his competency. And, and he's always been known for running a very tight ship for his executive leadership abilities. That's one of kind of his selling points for 2016. And the the idea that he didn't know what his deputy, deputy chief of staff sitting 400 feet away from him was doing is A, laughable, but B, if it's true, it's a problem for him on, on kind of those terms. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus, uh, and we were just talking about this with a reporter from the Star, uh, Star Ledger, there was... Um, a work environment that he created, which seems to right. have uh, thrived on and enjoyed um, political payback. Right, right. And so, it, th- that's what Democrats in New Jersey have been saying for years. This is kind of the culture of fear and intimidation is what one local Democrat told me. And he he this is clearly getting to him in his two hour press conference. He repeatedly tried to kind of answer that claim that he's created this culture. And he said, this isn't the tone of my administration. But the DNC actually last week put out a, a, a kind of funny video juxtaposing those comments with a number of times, a number of oh. clips of him shouting down, you know, people at town halls, et cetera, making it clear that, yes, this is the tone that he fosters. Well, yeah, as we said last week, when you have to say, I am not a bully. You have to be that outright about it. You probably are a bully. <laughs> when yeah. you have to say, as Richard Nixon did, I am not a crook, you probably are a crook. Right. right? So, <laughs> uh, and, it, and, and it's certainly not over for Christie yet. Absolutely. Well, that's the thing is there's been a drip drip for the past two months and there's going to be a drip drip. There's the investigations continuing. They're likely to reauthorize subpoena power for the, the committee in New Jersey that's investigating this. So we may get more actors in there to testify. And, you know, Wildstein, the, the kind of main guy that we've been talking about, pled the fifth, mm-hmm. which doesn't bode well. I mean, that says that there's something there. Which doesn't look good yeah. for him. And we've yet to hear from Bridget Ann Kelly. Right, and they um, want to bring her in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, her testimony is going to be, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'll tell you what. Maybe Chris Christie should have talked to her before she left or something. I can't believe that. I just, why wouldn't he? Don't you want to know? I mean, if you're the executive and this is happening underneath your nose, don't you want to know why? So. Yes. <laughs> uh, and also but, just to make sure that his, everything's covered, like. Because she is going to. There's, gonna, there's some nothing point. to be covered, right? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, you're, this is what you're going to say, right? right? We're on the same page here, right? right. Well, the big to me, what, and I thought he did a superb job on Thursday with that news conference, mm-hmm. so far as it went. Uh, and he did look contrite, and he did look sincere, and he did look almost humble. Um, but to me, the question, the big question remains, how this guy who as you pointed out, bragged about all this time about being a micromanager. Right. And uh, I'm the kind of guy that gets things done. Would hear about a bridge closer on the most important artery going from New Jersey into New York City and not do anything about it. Right. And if he heard about it, that it happened for one hour, it seems to me Christie would be demanding a top-to-bottom investigation about what, how, who was dumb enough to do this and how could this possibly be raising holy hell about right. it instead. 
he did nothing for one day, for two days, for three days, for four days, and then for four months he did nothing. It wasn't until December that, as he, he admits, he called in his senior staff and said, if anybody had anything to do with this, I want to know you have one hour to tell me mm-hmm. this. 